Would you be interested in learning something that would help you get over your fear of dogs? Well, that's what I'm going to teach you here today. So you can hopefully enjoy the company of dogs like many other people. So what I want you to do is I want you to think about a dog that made you feel afraid. Now, it could have been one you've seen today, one you saw yesterday, or a week ago, a month ago. Just whichever dog pops to mind. Okay, notice what color that dog was, how he was reacting, where it was. It's fresh in your mind because it's something you're fearful of. So it's very easy, easy for you to have a, a visual memory of that incident. Now, when it, you think about seeing that dog, zero to ten, how much fear do you feel thinking about that dog now? 10 being the worst and zero being the least. Now I'm not asking you to go, oh, 10. What I want you to do is I want you to listen to that inner voice, that little inner voice that goes, oh, be scared of that dog. That little inner voice that will tell you when I ask you zero to 10, how much fear do you feel right now thinking about that dog? Now, even if you feel zero, I want you to still focus in on that memory. But whatever number popped to mind, I want you to follow along with me and begin tapping on the side of your hand while saying out loud exactly what I am saying. Just because I have a fear, this fear of that dog, I'm okay. Just because I have this number of fear of that dog, I'm okay. Just because I have that number of fear of that dog, I'm okay. That number of fear, 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 that number of fear. Take a deep breath in and release that now. Now, this tapping technique is called Emotional Freedom Technique, EFT. Now, I don't want to teach you exactly everything about EFT. I just want to help you get over your fear of dogs. So if you want to learn more about EFT, you can look up other videos I've placed on YouTube or just put a search on Google. But for now, let's continue on. What I want you to do now is I want you to think about that memory of that dog, seeing that dog, a color, how he was reacting, or she was reacting. Zero to ten, what number pops to mind of fear now about that dog then? Now with that number, let's do this again. Just because I have that number of remaining fear, I'm okay. Just because I have that number of remaining fear, I'm okay. Just because I have that number of remaining fear, I'm okay. That remaining fear. 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 Take a deep breath in. Release all that now. Now what I want you to do is, I want you to think about that time you saw that dog and any fear you have connected to remembering seeing that dog. What I want you to do is I want to put you a color on that fear. Now again, whatever pops to mind, when I say put a color on that fear of dogs, what color do you get? Now if you have a color, you must have a shape because doesn't necessarily go off infinite color. But with that color and that shape, I want you to tap here with me. Even though I have that color and shape of fear of dogs, I'm okay. Even though I have that color and shape of fear of dogs, I'm okay. Even though I have that color and shape of fear of dogs, I'm okay. That color and shape, fear of dogs. 
that color and shape fear of dogs 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 take a deep breath in and release that now okay this time thinking about that dog that fear your fear of dogs what remaining color and shape have you got now with that remaining color and shape what i want you to do is i want you to begin tapping between the little finger and ring finger down in between here tapping and while tapping i want you to look down at the floor and then as you look down the floor i want you to gradually bring your eyes up as high as they can so you're tapping at the floor working on that color of fear and roll your eyes gradually up towards the ceiling very good take a deep breath in and release that now checking in once more how you feel about that experience that fear you had then with that dog and just notice anything that's changed has the image changed has the color changed has the number zero to ten changed hopefully it has in some way and maybe you need to do a little bit more on this so you can go back to the beginning and do some more EFT and if not you're good to go you just get out there the next time you notice a dog just notice if you feel more comfortable around that dog so I hope this has helped you in some way.